What rare condition, tray, or ability do you have? I have four nipples. Condition. I have MDC1A muscular dystrophy. Ability. I can move my eyes independently. Being colorblind, red green, and have 20 stroke 10 vision. Your camouflage doesn't fool me. My sister in law has mast cell activation syndrome, MCAS. Your mast cells are blood cells that react to foreign bodies and environments by releasing mediators such as histamines to prevent your body from experiencing anaphylaxis. This has only been recognized as a diagnosis for about 10 years. She is allergic to most foods. A year ago she was able to eat three things, chicken, blueberries, and green beans all unseasoned. She can no longer eat green beans. This is genetic. Her dad can eat 30 foods, and her brother 10. She gave birth to my so far healthy niece in November. Fingers crossed. This isn't limited to foods. She told me of people who go into anaphylaxis from the heat or from cigarette smoke in the air. I have the gene RS8177374, C, T, which reads, resistance to several diseases, less susceptible to infection with malaria, tuberculosis, bacteremia and pneumococcal disease. Double quote. I'll take it. Identical twin with an autoimmune condition my twin didn't develop. Kinda unfair, if you ask me, and also a little unusual. But these things are like a coin toss, I guess. I'm good with names and faces. I often pretend I don't know someone's name, so I won't make them feel uncomfortable. I'm a hunchback. Being colorblind, I can detect some things better than normal vision people. For example, camouflage usually stands out. I spot wildlife creatures, animals, birds and insects a lot easier than normies. People are usually impressed I spot these things and they often struggle to see even when pointed out. That said, I don't see red stop signs and traffic lights very quickly. Red usually blends with green foliage. Aside, speaking of green, I just learned this week after almost 40 years that peanut butter is not green, it's brown. It still looks the same color as grass. I currently have 4 wisdom teeth after having 2 already removed. Honorable mention to Joy Mill, who can smell Parkinson's disease. My eyes are two different colors. I can fold a fitted sheet. I'm a really good parallel parker. I can pop my ears at will without yawning or swallowing. It's just its own muscle. I think this is also tied to how I don't feel pain in my ears while rising in altitudes, even when sick. Edit, it seems like it's a lot more common than originally thought. Though some still can't do it. Maybe it's 50 stroke 50? Why don't I hear anyone talking about this anywhere else? We still are told to yawn or swallow to pop our ears. I have a double jointed jaw and I can lock it open in three places. I can bark like a dog, so realistically that I confuse dogs. Once, when I was in the passenger seat of my friend's car, I stuck my head out of the window and barked at this random poodle taking itself for a walk. We had to drive off real quick because the dog got mad and started chasing us. I can also do pigeons, seagulls, cockatoos, cats and annoying children. When my teeth grew in as a baby I only had one front tooth. Straight down the middle. Like Patrick from Spongebob. They did some blood work to make sure it wasn't anything serious, but everything came back negative. Did x-rays when I went to the dentist for the first time and there was only one adult tooth as well. But once I lost my baby teeth I got braces and they used a spring to push my tooth to one side and put a fake one in its place. There's no explanation for my missing tooth. It's just an anomaly. I have a sacral dimple. Basically I have a small indentation at the base of my spine, where my butt begins. About 10% of the world's population has this. Look it up, it's not gross, just a bit different. I have green eyes, which I learned recently is the rarest color of eyes to have, about 2% of the population. This has brought about theories that I was adopted, because both my parents and sister have brown eyes. Green eyes have occurred before on my mother's side of the family. 
I was also born on the 29th of February, which I share with roughly 0.065% of the population. I'm guessing the percentage of green eyed leap day babies is some crazy small decimal. I have aquagenic urticaria, essentially my skin is allergic to water and reacts to its presence. Last time I checked, 30 people on the planet have it with varying degrees of severity. I have Ireland syndrome. It's a perceptual processing disorder which affects my brain signals when responding to certain amounts of light, causing distortions when I read. I wear blue tinted glasses to read and see, to avoid distortions when doing everyday things. It's not necessarily rare but not many people know about its existence because schools don't test for it like they do dyslexia. Actually, most of the people diagnosed with dyslexia have a 50 stroke 50 chance of in reality, having Ireland syndrome. That's what Helen Island told us when I was diagnosed at age 7, we met her in person and she explained everything. Read up on this topic, it's really interesting to learn about things that aren't talked about as often. Most people have three lines on their hand. I have two. It's called a semi-increase and apparently only 10% of the population have one and 5% have two, like me. When I was born they thought I had Down syndrome because a lot of people with that have it. I don't. It doesn't impact anything health wise, but I can never get my palm read, so that kind of sucks. I have a photographic memory when it comes to numbers. I remember my 5th grade teacher's birthday and every phone number ever told to me. Full stop. Full stop. Full stop. And the math problems from high school. Full stop. Full stop. And my library card number from when I was a child. Full stop. Full stop. Full stop. It can be stressful at times. Also survived meningococcal meningitis without any complications so that's cool. This is a fun thread. Thanks for asking OP. I never developed wisdom teeth. I have eosinophilic esophagitis. I can wake up whenever I want without an alarm. I don't experience opioid dependence. I can take high doses of opioids for years and quit cold turkey without noticing. Brain tumor, removed a few years ago. I'm able to not give a fuck about anything. I need 3 hours of sleep at night, since I was 2 years old. I'm extremely flexible in my arms and shoulders and have arthritis in my legs so I'm just built wrong. Extra lumbar vertebrae. Not that rare. 1 in 50 people have them. Most just never know. I can place my hand flat on a surface and turn it a full 360 degrees without lifting it up. I can turn my legs completely backwards, it's a good party trick. Not necessarily rare, but I have crooked pinkies. Not just any crooked pinkies though, like very crooked pinkies. I am an expert at holding down couches and keeping them from floating away. I don't know how rare it is, but I have a solid line directly across the palm of my hand. A simi increase, but void of any of the usual corresponding trays. Allergic to cold. Fucking hate winter now. I have red hair and blue eyes. Supposed to be the least common combination of hair eye color. I don't know if that counts, but I guess it's something. Despite having poor vision, I have high perception. Synesthesia. I perceive certain letters and numbers as a particular color. My calendar has a shape like a looping roller coaster. Some names have vivid colors. For example Jennifer is butter yellow, and Amy is like a little black box with wild polka dots and one red dot. The word grey is not green, while the spelling grey is military wool with a red spot. My A is a dark glass red, so I've always loved A names. My first dog was Rachel, my daughters are Jane and Annie. Catherine is dark and cruel, while Catherine is pastel and kind. I have always had this. I remember getting corrected in kindergarten for coloring the A on my paper red instead of the apple lol. I have this weird tiny hole on my ear. Supposedly it's a thing signifying gills or gill like resemblance I deck I just know it's a tiny hole on my ear. I have a second spleen. It's only about 1 cm big, but, it's a spleen lol. I have a mild form of EDS, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, 
a condition which makes skin very stretchy and some joints, like my elbows, can bend slightly past 180 degrees. It doesn't really impact life in any way, and I didn't even know I had a unique condition until adulthood. It's like a really mild, useless superpower. Dermogrammism, writhing skin, small amount of pressure will cause my skin to swell up and get red. So basically I can write on my skin very easily oh and schizophrenia. I can move my little toes independently, without moving other toes. That's my only party trick. I can't close off my nose underwater. If I go under without holding my nose I end up snorting water like cocaine. I don't even breathe in. It's just genetics. Also, I hate cilantro. Genetics dictates how cilantro tastes to you and it is just god awful. My chest caves in. It's a thing that's sometimes called a salsa bowl. Pectus excavatum is the official name. I think it's about 1 in 300-400 births. It's moderate in my case and doesn't cause any physical problems but I may wanna get it fixed someday for cosmetic reasons cause my bod can look weird man. I guess probably not that rare, but a pretty fucked up cleft palate and trash tear tubes when I was born. Had to have 2 surgeries on my mouth and like 12 on my ears. I can rotate my hand about 540 degrees in total. This puts my elbow facing the opposite direction to normal at the weird end of the range. Looks super freaky when I bend my arm in the wrong direction after rotating it. Don't know if it's rare, but mistakes on a printed page or computer screen, typos, wrong punctuation, etc. Pop up and call for my attention. Fortunately, I'm an editor. I have what's called a swan neck deformity that causes the first joint in my finger to be bent towards my palm. My hands look fine but when I flex them a certain way it looks like I broke all of my fingers. They also curl back farther when I try to hold my hand flat. My knees also bend further back and some joints are more flexible. Not super rare but when I was younger I could freak out some classmates. I have synesthesia. I thought everyone could hear color, and see numbers as colors. Was 18 when I found out that, no, not everyone can. Asperger syndrome. We get intelligence and the ability to process information in a different way in exchange of being circally dysfunctional and a bit of clumsiness. Rheumatoid arthritis. I'm ambidextrous. I have Marfan syndrome. Which is a physical disease that affects the flexibility of the body. For example, I have bad eye problems because the lenses in my eyes didn't actually fit. Anyway, I have unnaturally flat feet, so whenever I walk about the house barefoot it kind of sounds like clapping. Does having 14 brain surgeries count? Turner syndrome. I have a freckle on the white of my eye. I can also move my ears independently. Not sure if it applies but I had a patent for Ameno Valley that caused me to have a stroke at age 18. Had corrective surgery a few months ago and the doctors say I'm not at risk for another one. Apparently solid grey eyes are pretty rare, if that counts. I can feel magnetic field and always know which way is north. Hippodontia. I also have flexibility that I thought everyone had but apparently is rare. I can snap my fingers 5 different ways. I have coloboma meaning that my right eye has a keyhole shape cause the iris didn't close properly in the womb. The area that is missing of the iris is also missing on the retina. Mitochondrial myopathy which grants a secondary ability of confounding doctors and a bunch of weird medical knowledge. I have a condition called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. It affects women more than it does men. I'm a lady. I've had it since I was 6. It's literally a condition that eats away at your thyroid. It's supposed to go away on its own, but mine hasn't. I'm 28 now, and I've been having to take a synthetic thyroid medication since first grade. I have vitiligo, but stranger than that is while most people have it over a large portion of their body, I've only got a couple small spots, my eyelids, but I'm pale enough you can't really tell. Plus I always wear eyeshadow, and a spot on my side, and my tights, so unless I'm in a bathing suit, you can't tell, which I'm rather grateful for. 
I have sensory processing issues, meaning certain sounds and textures are able to drive me to tears. A saliva gland in my mouth is angled at the right position so if I feel hungry and have my mouth open and tongue in the right position I have a narco saliva squirt from my mouth. It comes in handy when trying to claim the last cookie at a distance. This only happens randomly, I have yet to control my powers. My sneezing is extremely loud. I'm good with noticing details, especially faces. Like if I see a random actor that looks familiar, I can probably figure out where I know them from. Also, if someone gets a haircut, I will probably notice, no matter how little was changed. 